Wait for this one. The intensity is definitely going to be there. And uh, you have to feel whoever wins this, of course, most likely going to come out number one seed. Guy. This is a very, very important game to kickstart San Diego. It definitely is. Look at the teams in that pool. You got Echo Fox, Riot Station, Fire and Ice, and then one more open bracket team. These two are definitely the top contenders in the pool, man. And I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for both of them to come out. But this is going to matter on who's coming out at number one. Very important one. We're going to have Franchise get first blood to kick this one off. Take down Zerfting as well, and I think he's gonna end up having to play that that duel of Zerfting and Avexi's up top. You see Avexi's taking out franchise. One more one v one, but Kenny's in position and Detox with the cleanup. Uh oh, I was gonna say butter control in favor of Rise Nation, but Detox has to take care of Icy, and yes he will. Nicely played, of course. Initially it was uh, the boys on Echo Fox that won that important up top fight. All of a sudden though, Detox takes matters into his own hands. A couple of players do fall though for Rise Nation, so Detox still with a ton of work to do. In fact, that's three players. It leaves. Drix and Detox up just to make sure no trip cap does come through. As I mentioned that though, Echo Fox, they jump inside the B hill. Meanwhile, Drix with an important double to save the game for Ryzen. Very, very important double. Want to make sure you can lock down that home hill. You got you a base of operations. Detox finding himself in a 1v2 for butt control. He stays alive. Now, at this point, you just want to get your health back, okay? He's going to be up top in this control room. And now wait for reinforcements to come. They will. He's going to keep his distance, hit those L triggers, trying to make sure he can take out Kenny. But you see how Kenny is closing the gaps. Closing the distance. Kenny, he picks up a double kill. And that's what makes Kenny so scary. You saw how patient they were with those shots, but Kenny, Still came out on top. Okay, he said, try me. I dare you to try me. Wonderful stuff from him. As it stands, Echo Fox with the lead. 18 to 57. Just controlling the B hill. Now all of a sudden they should retake control of their home hill. And the dust should settle momentarily. Of course, very low respawn only in our first round here. So still plenty of action still to come. You can see, I believe it's Detox that's down. Yeah, he's going to have to tap up on that one. Echo Fox were looking maybe if they could find the opening they want here in round number one. It doesn't look like it's going to happen just yet. Well, Echo has that defensive stand. It's going to be Rise Nation looking for that opening. And you're going to start to see them actually kind of focus up on these home hills. You see the, the outline of your players putting some pressure in on C. It's looking like a 3v2 man advantage very quickly for Rise Nation. They're going to have to take these fights uh, now. But you see, Fran's going to find a kill. Detox under some pressure. He's oh, going to connect beautiful. with that back A, but he falls. Reinforcements come through. But as these players from Echo Fox have to back up to defend that home hill, that B hill may be in jeopardy. And Cal did so well just to buy a little bit of time. He was waiting for Kenny to come and assist. Fram was there as well. Rise, they wanted to try and put pressure on both those home hills, but Echo Fox did well defensively. And because of that, they keep the two to one hill advantage. They keep a 40 plus cushion here in this one. Rise Nation, you probably have time for one other it's, big it, team. Yep. Push. And now you're looking at a trip cap. A double cap just simply isn't going to cut it. And that push is going to be now banned. You're going to have a Vexies try to be the first in the fight, try to connect with these shots on Kenny. And yes, he will. So that's going to be one Start. player down off the side of Echo Fox. But Powers, even the odds, 4v4 situation. Powers looking to push over to his opponent's home hill to be annoying. That's such a big uh, Vexies have to take this. Powers trading out shots. Oh! Powers, Powers. I needed to lock down one hill, and that's exactly what he does. Echo to take round number one. You can call him a rookie, but that's a veteran play. Recognizing the situation, overextending to the opposition's home hill, draws two players from Rise Nation to deal with him, and kills both those players. A wonderful round number one, and I, I told you, the intensity on this stage is going to get heated very, very quickly. Echo Fox already on their feet. First round of the tournament. It really is. Yo, round number one to kick this one off. Oh, you, and you know they want it. I love, oh, it's going to be good. I love to see powers that invest into this game as well. Oh, they all are. They're fed up being wide button. They're fed up being humped online. Yeah. This is land, baby. This is where you have to come out and So perform. off of the rock. Powers nine kills in round number one. And nine. That, that just shows how much of a superstar he is. Now, we didn't see what the weapon placement is, but we're going to see in a few seconds. But all right, no. so it's going to be a block in mid-map. So I'm OK. I'm cool with that block mid-map because, you know, power weapons do go there. Sometimes a oh, boom will get planted in that position. But teams like to fight up top in that control room for that power weapon. Power said 550. Yeah, bet. I'm going to beat it this event. That's great a great start for him. <laughs> <laughs> killed in the first round here in San Diego. Fred, of course, up top once again. Has the support of a teammate. It was Echo Fox that won this fight in the first round. Can they try and repeat? His friend just playing wide. So just pull away momentarily. Yeah. A couple kills going down elsewhere. But again, advantage Echo Fox. Detox could be in a little bit of trouble. Fran pulls out the pistol. The down comes through. That's going to be cleaned up. B-Hill now should belong to Echo Fox. And in actual fact, they could maybe even try and put pressure on a trip cap if they wanted to split. Uh -oh, you see Kenny Derby over towards Kenny. A. Kenny's basically in a 1v1 here because he's definitely going to be decapped. Now the question is, can he make something happen over towards A? It's Kenny. Of course he can. There's one after he cleans it up, but wisely decides to back away. Played is so smart. He waited for his teammate to come off spine. But we'll see. Right in front, I believe this is going to be Drake.
Driggs versus Kenny. Driggs will get that decap. He's looking for that one shot, and he's going to get it. Beautiful. So that's two members falling from Echo Fox. Three members, four members falling from Echo Fox. And now, oh, actually, I'll take the, yeah, there you go. I was last man alive. He's uh, going to just make sure that the beat kill does not get capped. Nicely done from him, but Drix did so well to win that first fight. So patient, recognized the importance of it. Of course, his teammates elsewhere, they win their fights. So Ryan's still alive in this one. As it stands, 69 to 54. Echo Fox just looking to secure their hill. Of course, it's going to be A, but Ryan's nation do a good job. Two to one hill advantage in their favor. But still, anyone's game. Definitely a lot of back and forth action in, uh, in that engagement. But now, Echo Fox, they got to slow it down slightly. That's going to dissipate uh, it very, very soon, just based off Rise Nation having two of these hills. But Echo is going to make that option to say, hey, you know what? Let's see if we can kind of play for both these home hills. You see the pressure over there on the C hill. You got three Echo Fox players there. Powers is watching the back lines. He's not going to have no action in this position, waiting for that flank, making sure it's clear. No players in his vicinity. He does see one around that area. Uh, and the reason he was doing that is because he got the call out from his teammate that Avexis was pushing through. So he's been lingering, waiting for that push to come through. But Avexis could be in a world of trouble because I don't think he's going to expect Powers to be here. Powers is going to peek out, not even going to win the gunfight. Avexis, ready for nicely it. done. And because of that, Rise Nation still with a 2-1 to one hill advantage. And now they're going to chase down the franchise. Hey. They gave out that call out, but Kenny, he's going to uh, draw a few players' attention. But Fran is trying to come in and play cleanup. He's got two players in front of him. He's going to put up a nice blow on that meat shield, but looking for one more. Can't get it done. Drix finishes him off. So that's three Echo Fox players down. But Echo Fox, two hills to their advantage currently. We'll see if Icy can keep that, but he cannot, so he will fall. Now, two hill advantage going back in favor of Rise, and they can win off of two. Currently, Echo Fox not getting any points. It was that kill, though, that may just slow things down. Kenny with the pick onto Drix. Rise still, well, not truly in the driver's seat here in round number two. That's Kenny looking maybe just to try and overextend straight over towards Rise's home hill. That, of course, the C hill in this situation. Avexis does have a little bit of support, though. It's Detox landing some great shots, and Kenny will go down and instantly going to be picked up as, once again, the assault over towards Rise Nation's home hill will continue. Can Kenny at least get it neutralized? Avexis is over towards his left-hand side. Kenny gets the call out. Somehow, Kenny's still alive. There's Brandon to assist. That's a double this for him. close one. Echo can win off of two, I believe. They just need to keep it. Zerpting, he, he can't decap that. Big kill by Powers. He's going to have to get aggressive, but now Rise Nation not getting any points. It's looking bad for Rise. Echo looking to take the first two rounds in this one, and I think they will be. Nothing that Rise can do unless they get both these decaps. Uh, and Powers knew in that situation he just had to delay that fight as long as possible. Keep Rise not getting any points whatsoever. A very, very smart fight from him, and well, Kenny's going to let Jerpy know about it. That's 2-0 lead for Echo Fox. All right, Echo Fox starting off with this intensity high. So now, when I'm going to look at this next weapon placement, it's going to be in the top of the control room. I'm looking for Rise Nation to get one of these long-range weapons on board, rather if it's uh, M-Bar, if it's going to be Snipe. I don't know if they're going to end up focusing down low. It's definitely going to go control tower. That's their bread and butter. There you go. I feel like it's brave, though, because that initial fight so far in two rounds, they haven't actually won once. It's been Echo Fox that have controlled it. Now, yes, I, I know you like to say, well, you have a little bit more to play for, a right? Bit more you, you, you're you're going to go a little bit harder when you place down that weapon. And well, we'll see if that is going to be the case here for Rise. But uh, well, one thing's for sure, you know, round number one, we, we praised a, a, a ton of like a, a powers for nine kills. Everyone in Echo Fox slaying extremely well there in round number two, but the initial already underway. Once again, you can see that up top fight. Fran is going to be there with Icy. It's going to be Zerp and Avexi that he's trying to get happen, and it's oh. not going to happen. And Icy's going to say, well, thanks very much, lads. I'll grab that sniper. Yep, and he's going to get this first in bar of the match. And uh, Icy, very deadly with it, but Detox knows that, hey, I can't let this guy get any free shots. He needs control of this button for his team. And good shots by Detox just could not clean it up. I'm trying to see Icy's health. I think he was down all the way to uh, 40%. So Detox not able to get it done, but Icy keeping control over that tower, which is going to be very important as this round progresses. He was weak, just not weak enough. As now, uh, as we mentioned, he has button control, he has tower control, and also the M-Bar in the back pocket. We'll see if he's able to hit some, some nice shots. Of course, he does concede control of uh, the control tower, backs away. As Rise wanted to push it, it's going to be Zerp team that gets up top, but ultimately Echo Fox saying, all right, we'll uh, take control of it. We're not too worried. We can now use the M-Bar elsewhere on the map to try and get ourselves an opening. Now, for our new viewers, you see Zerp thing, and you see the angles in which he has uh, sitting in his control tower, Ooh. also controlling that button as well. Uh, you know, you, you hear those shots in the background. You hear that M-Bar just revving up. 
uh, Icy not able to connect just yet, but Icy doing what's most important is he's making sure he's defending that B here. Right. Zerfting living dangerously, though, because we know Icy can hit some shots with the Ember and ADO over challenge over peak. Well, you expect the kill this to is, and, this, and this is a good two-cap setup by Echo Fox. They said, hey, Kimmy, just make sure nobody flanks. We're not going to put ourselves in any position to get Lancer down uh, from the B-Hill. As long as it's cap, Echo could defend it with Icy just having that M bar. And, uh, you know, you see Rise Nation kind of recognizing that and just knowing that oh, they... Oh, oh, no! Avexi said 2v1. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yep. Two important kills as well because Icy puts to play with M-Bar. Exactly. And, and, uh, uh, Rise, they recognized it. They knew that they had to push on through to get Echo Fox off that power position. That was the only way they were going to get control over the B hill. Now, playing from behind, they're just going to be 10 points down. They got two hills under in their, in their advantage they're as well. They're that home hill is there. The question is, will Echo Fox get their home hill back? And I think they will. It's either that or they overextend it. This was uh, a this very their home similar hill. situation to what we saw in the last round. Rise Nation with a 2 to 1 hill advantage and a fragile lead. Now, Avexis with Mbar as well. The round is definitely set up in favor of Rise Nation. They need to close it out, get that first round win on the board. For Echo Fox, things are going to slow down as they wait to find that opening, find that pick. This is one of those rounds where things are going to happen very, very quickly, and it very well may end up in a trip cap domination. Now you see Zerpting starting to pepper up that player. Vexies has the M bar in hand, too, as well. That's going to be a new one that just came up off respawn. So. We'll, let's see what he can do with that. One kill already. You, this is where you need someone from Rise to make the smart play, the overextension, and that's exactly what Avexis is thinking about here. Question is, does he go behind enemy lines? Oh, ah, he just wants some big. shots on his B-Hill. Uh-oh, I see what you're going to do. That B-Hill decap. Oh, Avexis taking too much damage, and he recognized that. He's going to back up, but one of these hills, the home hill, is in favor of Rise Nation. They're they good. will get their first round on the board. Echo Fox, what you gonna do on this weapon selection? Oh, a wonderful hold there from Rise Nation. They get that first round win. Bex is showing work with the end bar there as he found the first pick, which ultimately just closed out that round for Rise Nation. All right, let's see what they want to do here. I'm thinking that Echo Fox is maybe gonna go for those dual spots next. Usually the incinerator on the weapon placement is gonna be the last one, but uh, we'll see when that comes around. And uh, you see Incinerator hovered down low, but you still got those dual spawns on the side where you can get maybe, uh, Okay, so they're going to put incense down, and the block is already used. So uh, the way I kind of take that is that whatever dual weapons you put down, if it's Hammer Burst, Marks, or Retro, Botox, whatever it is, both you and your opponent will have that weapon. Sure. Both teams super talented with it. That's going to make these fights for that B Hill super, super chaotic. And they, they have to put something down with that block already being used since you only use one block. So they're going to be patient and say, hey, we love the fight right now. We'll wait to the uh, to the back half of the first half before we put the secondaries down. Brown, once again, looking to get a first blood. This time, Avexis denies him. And Avexis going big up top in that control tower fight. That's a double. He's going to take Ambar and Ryan's Nation on a higher respawn round. May actually just instantly try and capitalize here on the opening that they have. Hal try to overextend, but he's in a world of pain as Detox and Drix both trying to land some damage down. Ultimately, Cal falls. And all the hill be capped in time. No pressure so far on A as there's an update. Ooh, what's going on in Pool D? A 7 2 win in map number one there for Space Station. And this one, Echo Fox, at least in this round, playing a little defensive because Rise Nation putting the pressure on. All right. So Mbar is in a Vexi's hand again. I want to get on board with the Vexi's because this is the guy, this has been the superstar. You see him, you see the glow from the back end of the map. He got the big double kill up top to get his his, his favorite power weapon. And now I want to see if he can use it for them to close out the round. Gets to call out that Kenny's up top, but he, he's getting saying, hey, Kenny's on his flank. Oh, Connects with that one. Oh, almost got him, but he's going to push it with his shotgun now. Going to try to cap this. Say, Icy, you got to fight me. You got to fight me. And Icy wins that fight, but wow. barely. That was yeah. Kyle. That was a 96%. He had 4% left on his health for the fix of that. <laughs> Kyle's going to take it. 4% is all he needs to keep Echo Fox alive in this one. And Kyle doing a wonderful job. Gets it down. Two downs. Actually, and all of a sudden, in the flick of a switch, a blink of an eye. Echo Fox now in control of the round, looking to put pressure over towards the Sea Hill. Kyle can find Ooh. another one, but Detox has to trade it out. Brian is down. He's going to be cleaned up. Rise Nation survived the round. And you're going to have Echo Fox with a one-man advantage. But the question is, can they use that man advantage to get the whole hill of prize? They're trying, and Avex, he's defending this one. I want to see, if, is it another player that's out there going to decap the B-Hill, maybe? I don't think there is. Nope. There you go. Echo Fox get another one on the board. And that one 
Should have went to Rise of Vexies. Even though he did a lot during that round, he was just missed that shot by an inch to take down Icy. Uh, and that's where you have to give a ton of props to Kyle, right? He saves Echo Fox yeah, the Kyle. round, yeah. right? He wins the 1v1 against the Vexies, instantly pulls out the Lancer, gets it down. Teammate comes in, secures two kills mid cut, and instantly the pressure goes down over towards Rise Nation Home Hill. Very, very good. Yeah, also, yeah, Kyle. you think about it. Yeah, that was, yeah, four quick kills. Yeah. The Vexies, the quick two succession. in the middle, and the trade. Uh, and that's why all of a sudden, when the resources came from Echo Fox towards Rise Nation's Home Hill, there was nothing they could do. They were just completely outnumbered. The, the, the timer was uh, so quick that they had to wait so, so long for those extra reinforcements. All right, so I said that they had to put they had to put a weapon down, and so this is going to be the hammer burst. I think this is going to be the less lethal of uh, all the secondary <laughs> weapons in which you Lesser have to choose from. But at the same time, you're going to see that, uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of players that's going to be super, super accurate with that gun across well, the map. One thing to quickly glance at, Jerpy in the kill column. Just one kill so far in four rounds of gameplay. He's definitely going to need to step things up in a game of this intensity where you can see the blood, bad blood from both of our two teams. As once again, the up top fight. Vex has dominated recently, but it's a first blood for Franchise. I believe that's his third of the game as Detox now looking to just scramble, get away with his life. Looks to go back and, well, that's a wonderful pick there on the front. I see hands grabbed Embar. Detox thinks about maybe going back for a little bit more. Is he going to try and push? Icy's expecting it, and because of that, Kenny has come over to Icy's position just to secure that M-Bar and make sure they get away with it, but uh -oh. I swear, a ton of kills. They got the power the position down low, too, as well. Now, Detox, smart move. He recognizes that he needs to get into action in case his teammates do not win this fight, and now he's going to join up quick 1v2. They should be in that B-Hill to try to cap up. Detox going to move on over to this home hill. Fran goes down, quick cleanup, and Rise gets another one on the board. Uh, and that's oh, despite that's the initial fight up top being won by Echo Fox. Rise's rotation around the map was just superior to Echo Fox in that round. They, they put it so well, and you see, again, a flurry of kills in quick succession. It opens up the map so, so much uh, that Rise have done very well to keep this one close. All right, let's see what can Rise do. Going into round number six now, folks, after every single round, our respawn timers are increasing by two seconds. So currently, 22 seconds on the respawn timer. So if you lose your life early on, very, very slim chance that you will be able to fight again in this round. Uh, especially at this level of gameplay. So it's kind of playing out like old school gears execution. Let's see off these open initials. What can both team do? You see on that kill feed, you got at the top powers with 16. And then uh, I believe that was a Vexies down low with 16 as well. Both these guys on each team, the powerhouse is making the kills happen. But Fran and Icy up top, Icy's going to peek it. Fran gets the call out, so Fran's up there by himself for a little bit, but the question is, for how long? Playing a little bit passive, but Fran getting the job done, well-placed smoke. He didn't even need Icy's help to get control of up top. And uh, that's going to be an in bar in favor, of, in, in favor of Echo Fox. And, you know, Riot Nation kind of dropped the ball on that one because they had every opportunity to kill Fran. It, it felt like they were almost going for maybe a little bit of a bait, right? Saying, what, over uh, over resource up top, and we're going to try and sneak a trip cap. But ultimately, that was not the case. As now Echo Fox is looking to try and clean up a Vex. He goes down. That's the pick. And, uh, again, bear in mind, a 22-second respawn delay here in round six. So if you're down, you are definitely down and out, maybe for the round. That's how important these picks can be as Fran trying to do work with the M-Bar. Tricks with a, a, a big delay, at least, with the Ensign. Right, not going to pick up the kill just yet. Rotation over towards B. Comes in from Drix. Serpentine's going to be over there as well. Fran has to get away. He scrambles for his he, life. Well, he pulled that M-Bar out when he, when he hit the dirt. So that M-Bar is going to be on the ground. And Zerpentine looks to get two more kills. Zerpentine gives a call out that, hey, M-Bar is down too as well. So we'll see if Ryze won. But Ryze saying, hey, we got to end this one. We got two, three people down. Let's get in here. Keep the pressure on their home hill. And yeah. Echo, not much they can do. They're going to have to go throw a smoke and go fighting. It's a 3v4, now a 3v5. Kyle, Icy, they both get one. But that's going to be a double in favor of Rise, And that's all. That's going to be a wipe in their favor. And Echo Fox gets my fault. Sorry, Rise Nation ties it up 3 to 3. Uh, from a round which started uh, maybe a little questionably, they do so well to just recover it. And kind of uh, after the first flurry of kills, Echo Fox not able really to, to put too much damage down on the map. Of course, Fran falls with the M bar. Uh, and then instantly, Rise Nation recognized 22 seconds, boys. Go, 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 go. Put the pressure on. They play so well around Echo Fox's home. He'll play it wide. No one over commits. They just get the kills. And it, it's as simple as that. It can yeah. be very simple when you let it be. I got to credit uh, Echo Fox to winning that open opening initial, you know? Uh, I gotta give him credit to winning that opening initial. That was, uh, but, you know, it was Rise who made those, those adjustments afterwards to get those kills. 
So we saw before Fran up here by himself. He kind of used his own smoke to kind of fight the 1v2 and get control. But Rise, I think I feel like Zerf thinking of Vexing, uh, of Vexing. I don't want them to start playing too scared up top because they are an aggressive duel. But you have to be smart against Fran and Icy. Two Vex, they will take advantage of you being too overly aggressive. Uh, and let's not forget how important that up top control tower fight is now because the neutral hill is inside the incinerator. As it stands, though, it is Rise Nation. With control in the round. However, the E-Hill has been neutralized. They're looking to try and take the fight up towards Icy. This is a 2v3. They oh. here of Rise Nation, oh. and somehow Fran wins one. Cal also gets a pick elsewhere, and if Rise Nation aren't careful, they can overcommit here. An Echo Fox should try and punish. So as you can see, we have a lot more action in this room. We see a lot more kills happening as well. That's because it's halftime, folks. Those respawn timers dropped down 10 seconds after the first half. So we're back to 12 second respawn timers compared to the previous round at 22. So these players are respawning faster. That means that we have a lot more action. But at halftime, those power weapons are wiped off the map as well. So nothing for these players to play for just yet. Just the weapons in which they spawn with and fight for these hills. And this is a big fight for Zerfing, but just could not get the curve on that shot. And Icy played it perfectly. He, he made the perfect Perfect moment. He was full, full red. There wasn't too many places in which he could go. And we're also seeing in the second half, Ben, how important that button is. Yep. You see the incinerator there to the left. If you can cap that hill and you have button control up top, those are free points right there. I see such a nuisance. He actually found himself two kills uh, whilst putting pressure over towards the E hill. And because of that, that enables Kyle to walk in, at least get it neutralized back away. Of course, they know the button was just pushed. So they wanted to. They could stack the hill, try and go for the cap, but they recognize realistically have to do it just yet. It's not necessarily uh, too out of hand for them to yeah. manage. 140 to 8. One player had to sacrifice. He capped it on the edge so he can kind of crawl back to the rest of his teammates. Yeah, he's trying to get there. <laughs> he's like, hurry, guys. Yeah. I'll take one for the team. And, uh, and, and that was good because that, that button, it has a uh, it has a respawn timer on it, on, on the use. So, right. uh, you know, so Rise, they couldn't just press it in that moment. Echo recognized that, and they went to go cap the hill. And now Rise, they're not going to press the button because the hill is not in their favor. They still need to play for it. But you see Slight Stalemate, because Rise Nation only needs one hill, and they've, they've assessed that. The move is in Echo right. Fox's hand to push across and try to get that home hill of Rise Nation. But we know how turtling can be for I, you. I, I was going to say, this is one of those situations where the guys are sat saying, all right, do the mess real quick. All right, do we need one? Do we need two? Yep. We should be good on one. Let's just play some defensive. Uh, kind of play style, wait for Echo Fox to push us, and then go for almost a counter attack play style, if you will, as Drippy maybe left to defend D. Recognizes the pressure should be coming through. Echo Fox, they have to go, they have to go now, at least a neutral for oh, a little bit of time. This is scary because you got nobody behind enemy lines, so you have to get you these can, guys off your You can neutral and run away, and that's exactly going to be the play. E Kyle, E Hill. I see goes a little too far, and as you mentioned, the, the mid neutral hill is going to be capped anyway. Yep. Bricks gets it. 203. It doesn't matter. Arise Nation take advantage here in map number one, the 4-3 lead. All right. So now, Rise, they pull away with the lead in this one after being down 3-1. So three quick rounds in, in uh, succession. So now, I'm curious what Echo Fox wants to do with the first weapon placement. We saw Rise <laughs> block that mid-map. That was their first choice. So they don't like fighting for no weapons down there where that B-Hill was go big, the previous round. Go big. If you go big. Force the fight they don't want. Echo loves the drop shot, so I wouldn't be surprised if a drop shot goes in that middle uh, weapon slot. So let's see what Echo wants to do, because they know Rise, they don't like that team fight geared around that location of the map. So we'll see what got uh, placed down in a second. Let's see, is it going to be the drop? I'm curious. Ah, snipe up top right away. So, uh, hey. They like that fight? Yeah. They've been winning it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Rise, they're cool with it. So Echo Fox, uh, Icy, Fran, two of the best snipers in Gears history. Now, on the flip side, you got Zerf thinking of Vex. He's two of the best in bars in Gears 4, especially early on in their career. But all four of these players are good with those long-range weapons. And, I'm, and I might say, if you look at Echo Fox's team as a whole, that whole team is talented with Sniper, if you think about it. Uh, all of those players got, got oh. reputations for it. And let's see what effects he's going to do with this. Yeah, a little bit of humping there going on. And I see uh, mm -hmm. he's going to be too happy about that. He's going to get flashbacks from online. But Rise Nation in the driver's seat, cruising through this round. They've made it look simple. A wonderful trip cap, as quick as you can blink. 5-3 now the advantage. That's four rounds in a row. Avexi's up on his feet. Let him know. Whew. So you see, so you see in this one, 
rise. They, yo, folks, they're locked in. They're looking to pull this one away. And you know, I love, you gotta give Jerpy some love. You know, Jerpy, <laughs> Jerpy just sat smiling, Jerpy, bro. Jerpy he's always just fun. sits in his corner and he just <laughs> he just plays his position like a shortstop. He just sits there. He's ready for whatever comes his way, always. And uh, and and that's what you love about a player like that, especially in a, a game like five v five. A know? fantastic team. I mean, I, I, I called him out a little bit earlier, saying he only had one kill when we were, I think it was five rounds in. Five and three, uh, you know, hasn't really had much but, to do. But Jerpy, if he's doing his role uh, properly, sure, he's not sure. going to have a lot of kills, you know? The kills should be going in favor of Zerting, of Vexies, you know, those guys, and Detox. Worth mentioning, Boomshot was placed down on the old B Hill. So that fight that the Obvious Rising Rise Nation trying to avoid early uh, in the first half. Well, we're going to see it now in the second half. Already a couple of kills go back and forth. Zerpting, though, he's going to be traded out. I see with a double. Fran finds Detox. That's going to be five down for a brief, brief moment. Uh oh. They, 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 they're hitting. calling him out. They're saying, hey, you can't pick it up because Snipe is watching. So the question is when they want to go for it. And Avex is just going to keep moving around knowing that he might get pinched. But that boom is still down. And this is the point where Echo is just like, hey, let's just go go for these heals. Let him stay up top by himself. By Avex, he's pressing that button. He gives his team time to respawn. And he's still on boom duty because the boom has still not been picked up. Uh, he's done such a good job of delaying so uh -oh. many things. There's a play right behind you. Kenny just kind of rolls in front. He says, peek a boom. Make slipping. sure you pay attention. Sniper now in his hands. Is that going to be the opening to try and pick up boom? However, Jerpy down low. Yeah. That's going to be a double. That's actually a triple. That's Strict a shuts boom. down Kyle. Kenny, when is the button up? That's the question. Ooh. Headshot comes through, but he needs to be careful because the pressure could well come through. And oh, I lied. That's not, a, that's not a free boom. You got, you got to be careful here of your Echo Fox. Time's ticking. The trip cap could come through. Kenny has to make some sort of a play from up top of that sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenny, he, he's, he's trapped between, uh, uh -oh. you know, he uh -oh. has one player. He has a 1v1 against another, the Vexies. He got another kill, though, with the so, Vexies. So he's still on the other side of the map. And now Detox trying to say, how how can I use both these boom shots well, to one. possibly get this home hill? Or to use one to, to no avail. Let's get a kill onto IC there with the second one. Echo Fox over extend. Oh, over Kenny got that headshot from the side. Kenny. He's in a power position. He's being that sharpshooter. He's going to get another kill. Let's hop on board with him. Ooh, almost found himself a fourth and a flurry of kills from Kenny. It looked like he was out of position. New sniper rifle picked up though by Jerky. And Kenny's going to recognize it. It's a 1v2, though. Not the situation he wanted to find himself in. And Rise Nation will make him pay. But elsewhere, that trip cap domination coming through from Echo Fox. This Rise overcommitted. Doesn't seem to be the case. Even Big fight has been broken. Jerky gets it. All right, so he's going to protect that hill. Also, the button control last time I checked was in favor, I believe, of Rise Nation. Yes, it Jerpy is. Jerpy got that snipe. But nobody's up there just yet. I still say, hey, Jerpy needs to get in that position. I think somebody, yep, you're going to see him start to rotate around because they say, hey, we need the sniper in the control tower. We also need you controlling that button. We got a lead, but the home hill being capped slightly. I don't think Drix will be able to do this by himself. Zerpy. The help is going to come, though. You're going to see the support fire come through, and if Echo Fox aren't careful, they may actually lose the round here if the kills can come in from Rise Nation, but Zerpting has to back away. I, I, I see actually in the he, he's hot screaming, pursuit. Press that button, and he now he's like, oh my god, nobody's up top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I got this, I guess. And I see recognizing, you know, there is no one up top. Now, uh, as we say that though, a player does rotate. Instant button has been pushed, but I see the well to at least neutralize the hill, stops the bleeding of points. Here for Echo Fox. Home Hill is going to be capped up, but Rise, they've given themselves such a, a, a wonderful cushion this round. Echo Fox are looking at one big attack here to try and end this in a trip cap. This is where that control tower, you, you know, you see Rise will have a bigger lead if that E Hill was capped from the get-go. That's why you got to make sure you got those players in those power positions like that control tower on the second half because uh, they'll be at match point now. And the reason why I say that, when you're playing at this type of level, anything can happen. Like, Echo Fox can still come back and win this round. So, Rise is going to have to play it perfectly. They can't take their foot off the gas. And I like this, de this uh, defensive stand. Big opening from Frank. Cal also gets his hands on the sniper rifle. Finds a pick on, onto Jerpy as well, so uh, they don't have to worry about that E-Hill, but the problem is they have to worry about the clock. 200 to 150, if they don't neutralize that D-Hill soon, their chances oh, of winning yeah. this round are going to be over. Tricks, of course, with a boom. That's, that's three players, that's four players down. Friend, last man up. Rise Nation put themselves at map point. And map number one here are the best. Rise Nation. Get, trying, to, trying to get this day number one. This first match of Gear San Diego kicked off with a bang. And uh, they came out swinging. You know, when we see the, uh, the the stat line, it was 3-1 Echo Fox, and ever since then, it's all been Rise Nation. Let's see, at match point, can they close this out, or will Echo Fox get that reverse sweep and get that momentum as well? And I feel like you have to credit Rise Nation for the adjustments they've made as True. well as the game has gone on. To, to your point, Echo Fox definitely had control in the early parts, but Rise have done so well in the latter part of this game to really just take control, if kill, you will. Kill. Yo, tricks. 26, 26 kills. kills. 15 downs. 26 caps, 10 breaks. 
that's doing it all. Literally, that's doing everything on this map. And you, that, man, that's an impressive stat line. Drake's definitely playing well, but can he now be the catalyst to close out map number one? I want to make sure you do it. You don't want to allow Echo Fox even a, a glimpse of coming back. And from the team kill narrow on Kenny. Curious to see if maybe Wise can capitalize on that. We'll have to wait and see because, again, uh, another flurry of kills for Echo Fox. Drake finds himself in a position there. One on one against Kyle. Kyle says, not today, sweetheart. Yeah. And that E hill will belong to Echo Fox. All right, we got all these power weapons on his map, and you're going to see big fire yeah. cap coming through. A oh, that boom came oh, up no. short. He's going to be patient. He's going to say he's going to wait to the last possible moment for them to cap up, put a boom in that hill. I think that they can still cap this hill. I don't think they should move too far away, especially with one boom in hand. But they give up all of this real estate, all these power positions. Right, tell. And that was because Icy wanted to get that snipe. So. Boom, still in a nice spot. Yeah, That's going to be one. Couldn't get that and the double. And flank, the flank from Kenny, keep your eye on that. Now it looks oh, like it's a 3v1. Echo Fox execute the pinch perfectly. Rise Nation had no idea. And now all of a sudden, the assault over towards Rise's home hill. Can they manage to capture it? Fran is leading the charge. The kills come through. And Echo Fox catch Rise Nation. Completely unexpecting of the Kenny flank. A wonderful execution there and strategy. Smart, smart moves there by Echo Fox. Uh, you know, I was questioning Fran with that boom shot for a second because I was going to say, hey, if you just kind of hold this right hand advantage in his doorway, right. you can just kind of, you know, shoot that while they're trying but to cap that hill. It was almost a perfect bait. He said, hey, guys, I got boom. Come chase me. Three Rise players dedicate to it. Of course, well, uh, one Echo Fox player plays for Snipe. Kenny hits the flank. Uh, uh, just like that, you're in such a condensed area. There was no escape for Rise. The kills come through, and the trip cap followed swiftly. All right, definitely want to put a block on that incinerator because you got too much to worry on the mid-map. You got <laughs> yeah, you boom. Do. You, <laughs> you got, got Snipe up top. You got the marks on the side. You know, typically you really don't even want to kind of play in that area. That's going to be a 1v1 position with sure. all the other power weapons. It's going to have three guys spin map, one guy fighting up top, and possibly one guy fighting for E. But actually, both these teams may actually send four towards that boom shot just because of the simple fact is that you want as many bodies as you can get there. Even if you cap E in this position, you don't need to. That's why you got that 1v1 up top. That guy gets that button. You don't need anybody playing the 1v1 at the E though. Problem is, Francis on that 1v1 so many times as Jeffrey just trying to get some damage down. He's going to charge over towards oh. Kenny. And Kenny says, don't you dare disrespect me like that ever again. Boom should be in his hands. Yes, it is. Wins the fight up top. Paris is going to have to evacuate the E-Hill as quickly as possible. Sniper picked up by Vex. He's he, he's maybe, is, he, he doesn't move. Kenny, nope. Nope. Kenny is already on it. Yeah, he's saying, not today. Uh-uh. Now, though, what can Echo Fox do with the numerical advantage in the round? Putting pressure, of course, on the E-Hill. They know that's an easy cap. They're going to cap their home hill. Can anyone try and put pressure down over towards D? Of course, you can actually just see the sniper and bullet trail. It's Kenny that managed to pick it up. Yeah, after let's actually one go more with Kenny because Kenny, he's, he's dual right. building right now. He, he's got the old school T-square combo. He has that boom shot and snipe. No, he just, gave up snipe. Just passed the snipe it. on over to Icy. But, uh, you know, they're, they're looking to make some plays over there towards that E-Hill. Of course, they have the lead. And they're more than happy to just wait for Rise Nation to try and push through. Almost make Rise make the mistake first and then try and capitalize upon it. It is Rise just one round away from picking up map number one. Icy headshot of Vexies. That, of course, with the snipe. Kenny needs to be careful because here comes Beautiful Zerpting from behind. Kill. Kenny turns around. 1v1 being delayed. And all Kenny needs to do here is keep Zerpting up top, right? Just waste time while his teammates put pressure over towards Rise Nation's home hill. Kenny's done a wonderful job of that. You see now the D hill being decapped. Zerpting recognized the situation. And, well, Kenny, yeah, rightfully so. Let him know. Delayed the fight beautifully, Darren. It just seems uh, the last couple of rounds, some smart play calls now coming through from Echo Fox. And Rise Nation, they're taking the bait a, a, a little too often. Yeah, and this is where Echo gets focused up. You know, they were very, very ecstatic within the first four rounds, but after Rise made this comeback, they said, okay, they're here to play. Let's 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 get serious. Uh, let's not get too excited, especially on these early rounds, because as we know, escalation is a marathon, you know? Oh, yes, it is. Uh, you know, it, it, it can turn around on you just that quickly. So let's see. We're going into round number 12. Can Echo Fox send us to a round 13 to kick off Gear San Diego? Be a hell of a way to start, wouldn't it? Boom shots taking off the map. So no, the spread's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna have that 2v2 up top, 2v2 in the middle, and that 1v1 at the E-Hill now. Okay. So Kyle, Kyle versus Derby with the Marxes. That's a deadly duo, a deadly fight between the two of them. We see the fight up top. It's, it's some big engagements going on up there. Kenny gets that kill, but I'm curious, what's happening for that button control? Oh, you want yeah. the button control fight? Here it is. Fran versus the Vexies. Fran gets the advantage this time. Zerpting wants to push it. 
Fran has the support of Icy. It's a 2v1. They need to get the down. It comes through. Zerpting will fall. And now, all of a sudden, the map control well and truly in Echo Fox's control. It's all five dead. Can they, though, get the trip cap? You see the split on the map. And Echo Fox player goes back to home. They put pressure over towards Rise Nation home. This is the fight. And just trying to play his distance. The support is there. Can they at least stagger the respawn delay from Rise Nation? There's going to be one detox falls. Fran again looking for more action. Just why is he playing his life? Echo Fox toying with their food. And they just got the knees. So the knees just got picked up. Kenny's going to bring them all to, over towards his heel. Toss they a few are. in the back. Another down oh, he, comes oh. through. That's a beautiful double nade. He's not going to connect just yet. But again, the downs come through. The kills come through. Echo Fox again. A wonderful execution in that round. First Max of San Diego uh, is going the distance in round 13. I'll tell you one thing, if Rise loses this map, uh -oh. Echo is going to let them hear it. Oh, they're smiling. They're going to let them hear They say one more round away. Oh, what right? the fuck's a smile? They smell so blood. So just when, because we rarely hey, see hey. a team at match point make that comeback. That's a hard six, thing to do with a 6-3 six, six, comeback. 6-3, 6-3. So it'll be a 6-3 no, comeback no, no, if they pull no, away no. with it. That's a that's a oh low percentage chance of coming back from something like that, and it's actually been a team that we've seen come back from six twos as Rise Nation. They yep. did it twice in Vegas this year, uh, and that's the that's the the biggest deficit on, from a scoreboard that we've seen so far this season. But if you Rise, forget about the last couple of rounds. Doesn't matter. This, this is one. it. This is the only round that counts. I like taking off that mark, so because. Uh, Kyle was getting some work done with it as well. Jerpy was using it too, but, uh, you know, that's just too much of a deadly First weapon. blood. First blood from Kenny. That's detox that will fall. Zerpting, of course, up top. He wanted to try and influence that fight, oh, but Icy's going to grab the player the flanked on the other side. They both just split up and hit, hit that flank. But if Vexy's got caught out back to Downs come through. Echo Fox, they have a huge advantage in this round. Two kills and a down. Zerpting's going to be collapsed on. There's three Echo Fox players there. The kills come through. That's four. It's down to Drix. Drix has to go big. At least buy his teammates a little bit of time. Bring around the Rosie over towards Ensign. Tripcap isn't yet coming through. Ultimately, he will fall. Now it's on oh Detox. Boy. What can he try and produce? Has he got the goods? Oh. No, he hasn't. Trip Cup domination oh. with Echo Fox from 6 For three. the first game of the day. Oh, and Echo Fox rightfully so on their feet, letting Rise know about it. I told you once, they, they, they focused up, started hitting those shots, went back to their strategy, oh, and Rise pulled that, one up, pulled that one out, man. Oh, oh they, they went straight on Twitter. They were like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see their interactions on that one. Meanwhile, you see Echo Fox cool, calm, and composed. They make the comeback, and what a comeback that was. Just when you were thinking Rise Nation yeah. fully in the driver's seat, they were going to go 1 0 up in the series. Echo Fox produced the goods. Is this how we're really starting off San Diego? Oh, yeah. All right, so Vincent, we, we saw oh, Vexes. Yeah. He said Franchise is an old man. He's going to retire him. What if I told you that Franchise had the first three of five first bloods? Oh, I, I'm pretty I sure it. three of those were actually on a Vex. Yeah. He ain't so old. I'm telling you, you don't want to say that to a veteran who's been around as long as he has. He will make you pay for it. And he doesn't have to use his words. He'll no. use his gameplay. He'll yeah. use his gameplay. Yeah, so every time Echo Fox had the initial kill, they turn out to win the game. But we saw a tell of two sides. On the first half, Echo Fox, they came out really strong. Franchise led the way along with Powers. But in the second half, Rise Nation, they slowed the gameplay down. They were coming back against Echo Fox, and they were almost there to win. But Kenny happened. Blaze, you played with Kenny in the past. When Kenny had the sniper rifle in round nine, he was able to make a huge difference getting headshots left and right. Yeah. But also round 10 on that flank, what happened? You know, right there, round 10 on that flank. I don't recall uh, too much, but actually... Uh, it was when Fran had boom. Fran had boom. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, the so on that next it one, it was, it was icy. They, they decided to back up with that boom shot and say, oh, yeah. hey, you know what? Let's secure all the power weapons on the map. Kenny came through with that flank. It was a great, greatly, greatly executed push on that one. And then uh, you saw Echo Fox pull through and come out with that round 12, I believe. It, it felt like Echo Fox was just dangling the bait yeah. in front of Rise Nation, saying, we have boom. You want to come take it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're in a 1v3. Bet. No, you're not. It's a 3v3. Kenny's hitting the flank. Icy was there to support with a sniper rifle. It, it, it was just a very, very smart, intelligent play in the situation. And that's something that you can't really practice for, right? You can never really put yourself in that situation. No. That's just where instinct and good communication really comes through. Uh, and that's exactly what you get when you get to talk about Echo Fox. I, I think the other part you have to talk about is how good Echo Fox was for stalling for time in those rounds. Yeah. Kenny did a really good job. He picked up the snipe. He waited for his opportunity. Ended up getting that pick in round nine. Round 10, 
It was Fran stalling for time, waiting for the reinforcements to come in, kept baiting, kept aiming in, L triggering like he was gonna fire the boom shot, ended up not taking the shot. Sure. It baits him in and all of a sudden all his team comes in and then all momentum was gone from there. Rise yeah. is like, oh, we have, the oh, never mind. I, I think that's the big thing to note is that momentum for Rise Nation, right? Now all of a sudden if you're Rise, you're thinking, all right, well, you know, last event, we cruised through a pool play, it was great, but we get to bracket play and we underperform. You had a 6-3 lead yeah. in, in map number one against Echo Fox, a, a, a big rival, a, a new rivalry, if you will, based off uh, some online trash talk, but you let it slip. Yes. Yeah. Mentally now, what are we going to see from Rise heading into map number two? Well, I'm really excited to see what we're going to see from Echo Fox heading into the second map. But ladies and gentlemen, map two will be underway as we learn more about Echo Fox. A lot of people don't agree with my play style. I play very fast. Like, I'm literally the best wall bouncer in the game, and everybody knows that, too. So people actually hate that I do that a lot. So like, I'm like, sort of like the villain. I play the villain role. <laughs> Drex, he, he played Gears for a while. He like really helped out the team a lot. Uh, he brought more knowledge to the team. What keeps us motivated as a team is really just our vibes. Like we're never really the type of team to start arguing that much or anything or get extremely emotional over a play that somebody has made or anything. We just move on. When the momentum is, is on our side, we literally like, it's no way we're losing it. Teams are sleeping on us. What I would have to say is, you're doing the wrong thing, brother. Nobody is as good as my team. We're gonna be the best, and we're gonna just keep on proving it from there, just prove ourselves over and over again, like we've been doing. So, they're the best, that simple. I said Rise Nation, right? I just make a shout out. I, I don't know. If you did. I heard, 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 I Damn, map number two already underway. You know, the one thing is that I, I can say on a positive side, especially about Rise, is that the land Drix is here, okay? I always oh, say that. so nasty. I, I don't Drix, care whatever Drix anyone says. online compared to land is two different I, beasts. I love that I feel like he doesn't really get the credit he deserves despite putting up consistent numbers. That's the key for me, consistently good numbers yeah. throughout every event that you see the guy play at. Uh, a, a, a wonderful, wonderful player. But it's these situations where I think you look for maybe the veteran Drix to come out and say, all right, guys, forget map number one. Short-term memory doesn't matter. Yeah. We're here on down. Let's win this and take it to a game three. Uh, you know, especially in these series, with it being a marathon, you got to have those type of mentalities, man. Yes, you you can't be dwelling off of old stuff because it's plenty of more opportunities for you to make those comebacks. Now, you're going to have to have Rise Nation end up forcing his map number three. Let's see if they can do it. So far in this one, both teams going back and forth, fighting for control over this B-Hill. Powers knows he has two to three people on him, and here comes reinforcement. Oh, wow. He's going to pick up his meat, get ready for Detox, and he's going to have some help from his teammate off the back end, but Detox makes quick work of Kenny. Now Power is trying to readjust himself. He's going to jam his gun, but gets right back into the action, and then he's going to have help from a teammate. And you just see how he stays alive. That was in fantastic. Situations. That was fantastic to watch. He was full red like two times in a 30-second fight that just kept being prolonged. Extra resources from Rise Nation being dragged across. Powers watched two of his teammates fall before his eyes, but it doesn't matter. He stays up and ultimately secures that mid-neutral hill. So you see all five players grouping up. You're going to have four. They're going to throw these smokes, and now they're going to end up making their pushes. Uh, when you spawn up, you're going to have one smoke in your back pocket at all times. So teams, you know, when they have to break difficult setups like Hello. this, they just wait for their teammates to respawn and bring in that extra utility. And you're going to see three kills, four kills go straight to over to one? Echo Fox. And now at this point, you push on through. You get the last kill. That's five. And the whole team just groups up and uh, make a little victory circle. Great spacing for Echo Fox as, as they take those fights. Knowing their distance, no one falls. That's the key there for Echo Fox. And because of that, that's why they can put pressure on the trip cap domination. Will they secure it though? That's the question. Another two kills coming. Three for Kenny. Kenny looking to just do all the damage himself. Four, go on, get the icing on top of the cake if you want it. It's gonna be detox and I would've loved power to just let Kenny have that penter, if you will, in the situation, but it doesn't matter. Echo Fox on their feet, all smiles. A very convincing round number one. You know, in there, you know, when you're the last guy alive, you gotta see if you can kind of get behind enemy lines and probably make that 
uh, push. So as your team's making that 44 push on top of the B hill, that last guy who's probably defending your home hill, see if he can kind of push through that platform and work his way off the backhand to get to your opponent's home hill, so that way you can extend around if your team does not win that team fight. Problem was, Rise Nation didn't have a, a player in that position, right? They all fell at the mid-neutral hill very, very quickly, and because of that, the, the spawn timers were almost synchronized perfectly for Rise. So as soon as the first player is off spawn, they didn't even have the time to overextend towards uh, any other hill. It had to be their, their home hill that they pushed in. Well, you had uh, four plays of Echo Fox just stood there. L triggering, ready and waiting as round two. Now underway. Advantage from Echo Fox, of course. They win that first round. Looking at uh, Tink from Rise to try and get the opening here as he manages to, to get the easy flank there towards IC. Can he find the double? No, he can't. It's Powers that stands in his way. And Powers finds himself a second. Detox is there ultimately to trade that out, but has to back away. All right, so now in this one, Detox looking to get this one his last fight against Kenny. He's going to take a brick. Couldn't get that up A around the other side of that piece of cover. His teammates will uh, try to come in and make this push. And actually, this is where Ryan says, hey, you know what? Back up, hold the two cap. No point of us forcing a fight on a home hill and giving up this positioning that we have on B. Because you see how they're slowly starting to fortify. And the longer you give Rise Nation to set up, it's like submit, you know? Yep. The more time they have, uh, the more time they have to get in these better positions. So let's see if Echo Fox can break through this concrete setup. It's going to be easy, that's for sure. Kenny opens up with a pick onto a Vexes. Yeah. And you're looking for someone from Rise to just try and trade it out. Trade hasn't come just yet. As Fran and Icy try and force the 2v2. Jerpy now has to push over, but all of a sudden he's just watched everyone before his eyes fall that's and that's has, to concede, have enough time to has to concede the beer. It's so liquidy, right? Yeah, it is. Really, they just walk right on through. <laughs> and so now we just got Echo Fox footprints all over that B hill. And you see Jerpy trying to extend this round. Oh. That's oh. oh, almost with a triple. But did he do enough? Did he do enough? Yeah. Zerfing needs this one. Can he get a touch? He does. But there's still more resources there uh -oh. for Echo Fox. Detox is going to yeah. fall. Trip cap comes through. Echo Fox 2-0. Now the advantage, but of course it's not worth getting carried away because we saw in map number one, Echo Fox came out. They played very well. Got, a, got themselves an early lead. And then Rise Nation when I think it was, what, five rounds in a row to put themselves at that point before failing to close it out. So, yes, it's a good start from Echo Fox, but we can't draw too much into it. All right. So, all right, let's see on this one. Hmm. Boom shot in pit. That's going to be an immediate uh, placement. Um, uh, and once again, I want to point out, Powers, 10 kills in the uh, first two rounds, playing very well at the initials. And we saw, obviously, in round one, when he was just dancing around Rise Nation players over towards B, made it very, very tough. But now, of course, with Boom shot being down on the map, that's going to change that fight completely. It's going to change it drastically now. Uh, both teams are going to be putting all their focus over towards this boom pit. Uh, Vexies gets first and second blood. He's going to back up, regroup. He's going to have to deal with Powers, and Powers is going to stop that monster. Gets a quick cleanup. See, see, we'll see if he can get two kills of his own, but he's going to have some oh. help from Icy. Boom picked up currently as well. Let's see tried what they to, can do with it. Try to make it a 2v1 for that boom, but ultimately Powers had to back away. So King and Drix still alive. Kenny and Kyle can join Powers for those extra resources. Speaking of Kenny, of course, now look at his perspective as he makes his way over towards that B hill. Mm. Expecting someone from Echo Fox, sorry, from uh, Rise Nation to be over there. Kenny should get as wide as possible. He recognizes it. That's going to be a good cutoff smoke because if somebody pushed in to help, help that guy, he gets stunned by that smoke, and that's a boom headshot over the cover. And Zerthin connecting with two of them back to back, and now. He's going to be able to cap this hill. He's going to have some reinforcements. He's going to say, hey, cap this. Let me go help the rest of the squad. We're putting some pressure on the home hill of Echo Fox. Just trying to stop the bleeding of rounds. Oh. So oh. Touches the sea hill, and all of a sudden, he's met by a barrage of bullets from Echo Foxes. They want to try and push this. Zerp Tink, full red. Is he going to escape with his life? Just barely. In fact, Detox has fallen. And Rise needs to be careful, because this could be a counterattack here from Echo Fox. That's a good teammate. You know, he dies to pick you up. Now, let's see what Zerp is going to do. With, uh, with, with Detox's kindness in that one. And Zerf is going to fall right away. I do believe I saw a boom shot oh, on the ground. They're falling like dominoes. Through. They're falling like dominoes. The Vexy's now scrambling over, maybe towards the sea. He'll try and delay the game at least if he can, but actually says not a chance. Yeah, I won't believe De this is Detox. Uh, this is him on his home hill. Yeah, that's him on his home hill. Uh, just take note how Echo Fox just transitions on over to the other side of the map. That boom shot is going to be up in about 30 more seconds, probably 25 at this point. And now, yet yeah, Echo Fox, they're going to be setting up for it. They're also going to be putting pressure on the home hill. So now, Rise Nation is in this position. We need to get our home hill. Oh, Powers. We need to fight Don't do boom. it. Don't turn on it, Powers. That would have been a triple kill. 
Uh, Vexy just delays it, but to yeah. your point, you see all the resources from Rise Nation being drawn to their yeah. home hill um, that frees up. Detox. Move. Let's go to Detox. He's in a power position. He has to defend for that boom shot. There you go. And he's off on this end. Looking to get some shots in. His teammate's going to go down. He's probably going to go down yeah, as well. Back away. Boom shot being picked up by Kenny. So, Echo. They have three players down now. They just need to get in a position to end this one. And again, that's just smart play from Echo Fox. You see the pressure over towards Rise Nation's home hill. Rise have to respect it. They have to flood back to try and defend to make sure they don't get trip cap. Freeze up, boom. Now you expect to see a, a trip cap come through from Echo Fox. A couple of wisely placed booms, and this round should be over. But all of a sudden, Rise Nation with a flurry of defensive kills of their own. A neutral, of course, but. This round definitely not over just yet, and uh, Detox has himself a boom now. Yeah, he does. I uh, didn't see how many shots he had in that boom, but he has, even if he has one, that can definitely change the tide of this I round. I'll say it's two, yeah. I don't think the boom was even fired in that fight. All right, so ooh, that boom's going to be up in a minute and 15. Well, that's not a good boom. Yeah, that's not. That's a, that's a very, very bad boom. We didn't, we <laughs> Worst didn't case we, scenario. We didn't see if any other players was over there or if Vexis was down and he tried to just save him, didn't get baited. Uh, but still, <laughs> Detox has it. But you just see how Echo Fox slowly just trying to, you know, follow him back into the spine. You're like, Detox is being forced back. Uh, and now, but he needs to push forward because he has the boom shot in hand. He needs to at least get to this B-Hill. It's important to note, two to one advantage as well for Rise Nation, right? So they've done the math, I would assume, in this situation, say, yeah, we should be good just on one hill. Make sure now we just don't unfold and we don't get trip cap. Yeah. That should be the agenda. Detox has the boom on his home hill. He's just going to sit there with it just in case, uh, you know, when Echo Fox starts to flood it. Echo needs to bait the boom out. I think that's going to be Kenny's job. Yes, it is. So Kenny bait the boom. Now Kyle doesn't have to worry about that. He just needs to get in here and hit his shots. Go for the neutral. There's resources here. All of a sudden, three players. No, one player makes travel over towards the sea oh. hill. At least there's a trip cap going to come in in time for Echo Fox. Wow. You hate to see that's it. That's why you don't if want your Rise Nation. Avexi's tried scrambling to be, but it was just too late. It can't, that can't happen, though, especially with boom in hand. No, that's why in those, in those situations, you can't turtle, Ben. Yep. You know, you say it all the time. That's why I say, even I understand what they tried to do. Bring the boom to the back line, secure our home hill, but that player can still easily be baited out. Take the boom towards that B hill. Force that fight further away from your home hill sure. and draw those players away. It gives you time point. to respawn, right? Exactly. And, and, and join the fight. Vexy's made the right play. The problem was he made the right play too late. Yes. By the time he's already extending over towards the B hill to try and at least delay the round, his teammates are dead. Yeah. Uh, and there's three Echo Fox players in your home hill. It gets capped very, very quickly. All right, let's see in this one. Boom shot down. We're going to have a block mid map as well. So uh, both these teams, they love the setup of this map. Uh, especially at this level, they love playing for the boom shot in pit. So let's see who's going to win this initial and come out on top with it. Ready. A couple of Echo Fox players dancing and darting through the smoke grenade. Trade comes Super through. Down. Uh -oh. Jopi is down. Is he going to be cleaned up? Yes, he is. And Jopi, of course, stands up, rejoins the fight. Rise Nation in full control early here in round four. Five players dead for Echo Fox. Unsure whether Rise can maybe get that trip cap. But we'll see. It's going to be close, that's for sure. Two players now being drawn over towards the A hill. That is the Echo Fox's home. Yeah, is he going to be able to touch it in time? Nope. This Rix had himself a boom. Rise Nation get the first round on the board. Right. Hey, Rise, they did this in the first half. They came back from that 3-1 deficit and <laughs> took that 6-3 lead, you know? Yes, they did. And these later rounds, it's going to be good for them as long as these players win these opening initials on a map like Damn, based off how close those hills are, uh, you can pull off those easy trip caps early on. But the thing is about it being in the first half is that that neutral hill is so far away at B and the focus is all the way on the other side of the map at that pit. So even if your team loses that team fight at pit based off the other team just kind of scurrying for the rest of those hills, yeah. you may have time to possibly defend your home hill, but if your opponent gets that boom, then you're going to have to bait out both of those two booms, then have the last few players coming off a of respawn to contest for that home hill. And at that point, you got to hope that your opponents has not capped the rest of the hills on the map. So we see the focal point down low. Both teams, I believe they got four to five players focusing on this boom shot. Right, please Frank, Frank quick picks it. He grabs it, did fall. It was Zerk team that managed to find the pick, but Icy trades out Zerk team. I'm curious to see if the boom's still on the floor. Drinks with a pick Icy's onto dead. Icy. So, so now you have is. yourself a, what, 4v4 or 3v3. Kill still coming in. Drix drops. It's Kenny there. Powers with a pick on the detox as well. Still two more players from Rise Nation alive as Kyle looks to just try and maybe put the final nail in the coffin of this round. Both players drop. A wonderful stuff from Echo right there. 
Yep, and that boom is going to get picked up. But the boom shot timer is on a minute and 30. That boom's been sitting on that ground uh, for a while now. Like 20 seconds almost yeah. it felt like. It was, a, it was a long time. Fram went straight for the quick pick, and it exactly. opened up the entire There were actually three. It was about four seconds away from that boom shot disappearing because if it sits on the ground for 30 seconds, it just vanishes. Right. It just goes to the sunken place where all the power weapons and weapons go. <laughs> Here's the war. It's the hidden treasure under the map, if you will. As Kenny, as we two booms two still. Boom. Yep, that's uh, both to fire. Backs away over towards the sea hill. So this is where it gets dangerous because now Echo says, "All right, we got this boom. We can kind of rotate on over to the B setup and hold the two hill setup, right?" But if he goes over to fortify, if Rise Nation plays this smart, the boom shot will be on the other side of the map when a new when a new boom spawns. So let Echo Fox stay over here. Let him fortify. Let him set up, and then Rise Nation just plays for that new boom, especially if Kenny's gonna be on this side of the map. It, here's the worry though, because you're absolutely right. What if Rise Nation play for the other side of the map? Echo Fox realized, and they put the pressure on the trip cap as New Boom comes up. If I'm Echo Fox, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, wait for Rise Nation to yeah. overcommit on the other side of the map, and we're just going to go. We're going to go for a trip cap because we still have two booms to use as well. So it's essentially two boom versus two boom. So, but this is a defensive stand. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best spot for Kenny to be in. 19 seconds, the New Boom spawns up. Kenny got the call out. That's where you want. And he's oh. rushing. He's rushing to the other side. He knows okay. that no matter what happens, I need to make sure that we can secure a four booms in this round. And uh, if they can do that, that puts Echo in a better position. At this point, as Kenny's rotating to the other side, this is where if you're Rise Nation, you want to trip cap There's under one. their nose. There's one. Friend will fall, though. There's still one boom left here for Kenny. As he's just watching his team, teammates just fall before his eyes. And the problem is, as, as Echo Fox rotated, Rise were just uh, a step ahead of the game, it felt like, on the rotation towards New Boom. Kenny, he's going to drop. Rise Nation. Very well played. Got to yeah. give them credit for that. That was really, really good stuff. You know, the most important thing is that if Rise Nation that entire time, keeping track of that boom shot, keeping track of that character yeah. model. That's why sometimes you see in top teams, you know, you see some characters pick up those power weapons and they start trading it out throughout the range. They want to put in the best player's hands, but also with that trade, if your opponents don't see it, Keep they're, guessing. they're calling out, uh, you know, Mira or, or Sniper has the boom shot, whatever that, that, that character model is for the swarm. But, uh, you know, little do they know that boom shot's in somebody else's hand. Problem is, Echo Fox with a point lead. They can win on one. Wise Nation looking to go for the trip cap. Smoke comes out. Oh, that is a wild boom. But if it you've went ever through the car. Boom. It actually went through that hole. So Powers. it goes through, but it didn't connect with that back wall. That was a good choice. Get the guy at the back with that lance route. Neutral C. Now can you go for the trip cap? They have the advantage. Is anyone from Echo Fox rotating? The delay over to oh. C has been enough of Exes with a double the revive comes through. Keep your eye on Kyle. The other nope. side of the map, he goes down, not able to scramble to B. Beautiful from Rise Nation. Everything about that round was well executed from them. That was a good round near four of Vexies. Uh, big double to help his team close it out. Rise Nation, they kept their composure throughout that round number five, Ben. And like I said, in these later rounds, they can do it. They get they, they, they win these opening initials. Once they win it, yep. they have plenty of time, especially with the respawn timers being as high as they are. And currently at 22 seconds, uh, whoever wins the initial for boom shot will come out on top and win this round. And you feel like Air Fox are going to go back, watch the bot of that round and say, all right, we had the advantage. We had Kenny with two booms. How could we have maybe played that? Maybe a little more aggressively. It definitely didn't work out in their favor. Kenny just uh, a little late to the party when it came to that new boom fight. A quick glance at the scoreboard as Powers leading the way for Echo Fox, as you would expect. 16 kills, but Rise Nation looking to tie things up at the half here if they're able to win this round. You know, based off with the respawn timers increasing the way that they do, you look at the scoreboard, a team can be getting severely outslayed, but it'll still be a tight game just based off all the early action in those earlier rounds. And Zerg managed to grab himself boom here as well, so this round could be over almost before it's even begun. The Vecca Fox aren't careful. Drake's trying to take the fight to Kenny. One v one. There's the support, but Zerg taking with a cover. Cal goes down in the boom fight. You still have Kenny alive, but another boom comes through from Zerp. Uh, Zerg looking for his last one. He he connects barely with that back eight, but that was a brick. He knows it, and he's going to chase him down. Yes, he will, and he's going to get that down. That's beautiful. But no hills cap for either team. So Zerp, he needs to go over and get that B hill because on the a, on a side of Echo Fox, those players are going to have enough time to respawn up. So we're going to see another big team fight, another big 5v5 team fight. This is that Rise Nation trying to get a position at the B hill oh, as soon as possible. And I, I like to play. Get, his, get get super aggressive while you got that main advantage, but currently 2v2, now a 3v3 fight for the B-Hill. Aquafox should probably back out of this one, but we'll see if they do that. Keep the momentum going, right? That's what Terpting's thinking. 
As Detox and Avexis both find picks. There's another one for Avexis, a double kill. It's looking good for Rise to tie things up here. Kenny in a 1v2. Four he's going to be traded out. Now it's down to Powers. Last man standing for Echo Fox. Oh, Scrambles over towards the A Hill. Detox wants to play wide. Powers trying to stay alive. It's a 1v3. He drops. Rise Nation tie things up. Three in a row for them. Rise, they have to stay consistent. You know, you, this team, they have all the pieces of the puzzle. Yes, okay? they do. I say, when you got Slayers like Avexis and Zerp, and you think of the supporting cast around them, you know, you got Jerpy, who just, you know, he just gets the job done. Drix on land, you know, you know, he gets his job done as well. Uh, one of the most consistent players on the circuit. And then Detox, man, he's just such a sharpshooter and uh, such a talented player. That young trio, I want to say, I got to call him a trio now, especially with <laughs> Detox on the team. Because uh, those three, they, they get the job done in that slaying department. That's what you want to see. This Rise Nation team, if they can if they can just keep their composure, they definitely have an event win under their belt at some time. That's what it's about, right? Composure. You need to make sure when you have the advantages, you close them out. Nice stop for Zerpting, a double. And you can just almost feel the momentum shift in map number two now. All of a sudden, Rise getting confident, playing maybe a bit of a quicker pace as Avexis will shut down Kenny. Fran should fall as well. It was Jerpy there with a the pick, and the round has only just begun, guys. <laughs> and it's only just ended as well. A fantastically quick round from Rise. As I said, momentum definitely shifted in their favor. So based off where that neutral hill is, it's going to move from the pumping station, which is at the top half of that mini map, all the way down to the platform where we saw both teams fighting for that boom shot. And with the hill moving down low, we're going to see some quicker rounds because as your home hill get capped, you win that team fight, that's a quick right. second cap. At that point, you just put all the pressure on your opponent's home hill, and if you can get that, you're going to close out the round. So like I said, Rise Nation winning those opening initials is going to benefit them. Let's see if they can... Uh, Stay consistent in this one with the lead that they have. It almost suits their play styles a little bit better, right? Having this, this hill just a little yeah, so closer, close right? Together. Just like, yeah. right, two dead, three dead. Oh, well, I'm already at the opposition home hill. Well, we're getting a trip cap. Rounds end so, so fast. Uh, and that's what you want from Rise That's the play style you want to see from the squad. All right. Oh, oh it's a big fight at the pumping station. Oh, I didn't see what power weapon got placed over here, but they're chasing something down. Uh, we can't see it at the top of the map, but it's, we, we'll see when it gets picked up. It's, um, Instant? Maybe. We'll see. One of the, we'll one see. Of the it's get picked up, but whatever it is, oh, drop it's shot. drop shot, okay. okay. Well, something definitely big. <laughs> that explains why there were so many people going up there. I'm actually very surprised that Rock oh. <laughs> Doug Hold it! <laughs> Hold it! That's a trip cap domination. You got three oh, Lord. shots. Yo, if it was ever a time well. for a timeout right now, if you're Echo Fox, just say, all right, pause, pause, pause. Timeout. Oh, my controller unplugged. I don't know what happened. Oh, I, I, need, I need some help because Rise Nation, they're steamrolling through this whole thing. They, they just blew this map wide open. And Echo Fox, they, they look lost right now. They, they can't stop this pain that Rise Nation are playing at. Echo know they made a comeback already before, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so yeah, they, but you don't want to put yourself in the same position. But if you do it twice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, but let's, let's, let's see. You know, so I'm actually very, very surprised uh, that that drop shot actually got placed on the other end. Actually, I take that back. I'm not too surprised because that's Echo placing that drop shot. They love that drop shot a lot. It's one of their, uh, their favorite weapons, but also they understand the pace in which Rise Nation is playing down low for that pit. They've got their confidence up. They won a lot of those key fights. So at this point, Echo's like, no, just put the power weapons on the other end. But what they don't know is that, uh, you know, if, if Echo wins another round, Rice can still put the boom shot on pit and still force it back over there. But you feel like that would split the fight a little bit, right? It no longer becomes a very quick 5v5. Maybe you have, what, 3v2. And at that point, the smarter team wins. And I think the smartest team in this situation is Echo Fox. So oh, you just got to right. throw, you know, throw the juke I'm going to renege my comment and say that, you know, if the boom does go down there, it might actually benefit Echo Fox a little bit more. I think that might be what they're thinking. Let's see. We're, right we're, now, thinking ahead of, we're thinking ahead of ourselves. Right, Rise Nation, I mean... Man. It's another five dead. Uh, are Echo Fox even playing at this point? I, I don't even know. I don't know. They're going to wait for that fight over there on the other end of the map. And Ryze looking to close this one out. Oh, he's actually going to get that splash damage and take out Kenny. All right, Powers. No. Oh, oh, at least got two, but it if another, if, another, if another guy missed a shot, Powers picks up another kill probably in that one. And those are those quick rounds from Rise Nation. Composure. 6-3, six, six, deja vu? 6-3, huh? De deja vu, have we been here before? All right, let's see if he I think, we, I, I think we did, right? I think I, I think I just heard some knuckles crack on the Echo Fox side of the stage. So I don't know who that is. That might be Powers, that might be Icy. But let's see. I, I have a feeling this one's over. I don't, I don't foreshadow Rise losing. 
two maps after a 6-3 advantage. It, it just and on our, on our side station, we got a round 13 versus Loose in the world's best. We got action everywhere, folks. Don't forget, we do well, have a Bravo stream it. as well. So that, they it. did go for the boom. So now this is a chaotic fight. And we're going to see the number split. So, so Rise actually choosing, uh, my fault, Echo choosing to send two up top. All right, well, boom's picked up by Fran. I see is there. Yeah, Detox picking up drop shot. Avexis with a double. Now all of a sudden, Powers is last man alive. Powers will fall. There was no way it was gonna happen twice. Rise Nation just grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck and they ran over Echo Fox. The last four rounds of this were not close at all. First match here in San Diego. We're going to a game three. Yes, we are, man. Rise, man, they, they start streaking towards the end. And you think about it, this would have been over if they was able to close out that map number one. Yes, it would. They had the advantage. And, and now all of a sudden, you know, we asked, how is Rise Nation going to compose themselves? And I'm so impressed with what we saw from them. Now all of a sudden, you know, and, the, the and, opposite is true. And what are we going to get from Echo Force? And now, by the way, that round 13 I mentioned went in favor of Lucent versus World's Best. Oh, that was just over on uh, the Bravo station, yeah. correct? Yeah, if you guys didn't know, we actually have another stream going on our Bravo station, World Best Gaming going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Lucent. World Best Gaming in. won map one, 7-2, but the second map, Lucent put away 7-6. But guys, what we just saw on the main stage right now, Rise, they look for real. They do look for real. I, like, I honestly got truth. I feel like this team, they have all the right pieces okay, in Vincent. place. <laughs> okay. But they have to stay consistent because we saw them go 3 0 in that pool of Nola and then just crap the bed when they got to that champ bracket, you yeah, know? Yeah. So they have to keep that composure throughout the entire weekend. They got the pieces there, just need to hit those shots, stay focused. The answer to that question will be Saturday afternoon. Yeah, okay. right? When they play that first game. And we, I, I'm assuming they're going to get to winners. They're a fantastic team. Maybe it's first, maybe it's second in the pool. We'll, we'll find that out in my mind here in map number three but they have to do it in the championship bracket. Can't just keep getting good pool play plays yeah. and uh, thinking, yeah, we're, we're a fantastic team. Nah, you have to do it when you get to knockout stages. No, we've definitely seen improvement. The one thing I really like about this roster shakeup, by picking up Jerp, you've seen the, the force that he has on the map. He makes sure everybody is weak. At Detox, Avexis, and Zerp thing, they've been able to run free. Drix is doing just about everything possible for this team. Do you think that Rise Nation has a legit shot to get their first one against Echo Fox? Apparently they do, but I mean, you're looking at it, they were, they've were they gone 3-0 down, both maps, and won six rounds, Tickle. seven rounds, yeah. and just absolutely started steamrolling the game. You have to take that into context. They've been doing really well in those situations. And honestly, I want to give a lot more credit to Drix, yeah. because this is where you have to say about this yeah. team. Drix is the backbone. He's doing everything that he needs to be doing. He's putting up the numbers that you want to see, and he's consistent. He may not be slaying the most, but honestly, when you have the most caps, the most assists, and doing the most damage for your team, you, you really don't need to be That's what I love people. about Drix. He plays his role. Yeah, That's you know what I'm he, play, he plays his role and he gets his job done and he lets his slayers stay in their positions, you know? And, uh, and, and, and escalation, anything can happen, but when it's time for him to step up, he does it and he makes sure that he's making his other teammates shine and that's the important part. Yeah, so in regards to momentum, Blade's been playing this game for a decade now. How heavy is this momentum going to be in the tiebreaker game? Ooh, we're, go we're, going into, uh, <laughs> we're going into lift as well, okay? That momentum is going to be crucial because both these teams are super talented on that lift map. But uh, we'll see if Rise Station can close it out. Echo Fox, they've been in this position plenty of times before. But these guys are going to get serious going into this map number three. In all honesty, guys, this is anybody's game. Well, you're the fortune teller of this whole community. Predictions. Rise Nation takes it. Rise Nation. 7-4. Ben, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, Rise have shown they're definitely capable. Okay. Yeah. They, they have the momentum now in this game. Uh, I think it all comes down to maybe the first couple of rounds, right? Because that's where we've seen Echo Fox excel in map number one and map number two. If Echo Fox come out slow, Rise keep the momentum heavy, Rise is taking game three probably very, very comfortably. If Echo Fox show that they do have a, a little bit still okay. left in the tank, which I think they probably do, round 13. Echo Waldo, Fox. before you go, the, the thing is Rise Nation, We've seen that they've been able to adapt better than Echo Fox. Round four. Round and four. It'll be decided in round four. Because <laughs> yeah. That's where it's been decided right, every time. Right. Every, every, every time. Round four. And we'll know by round four if Echo Fox can plug the hole up here and you know end the series, or if Rise Nation is going to continue to steamroll and gain the momentum and end the series themselves. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Our first tiebreaker game of the day, Rise Nation and Echo Fox. Ben and Guy Blaze take it away. You wouldn't want it any other way. You wouldn't at all. First series of the event. 
We had a round 13 map one. Ah, may as well give us a game three as well. You know, the one thing is, especially with, with Echo Fox, is that I noticed that when teams start, to start streaking on them, right, they get something uh, put together and they start winning, you know, three rounds, four rounds plus in a row, uh, it's hard for Echo Fox to, to kind of break that momentum of their opposing team, you know? Yep. And, and that's something that we see a lot with Optic Gaming as well. Uh, Echo Fox going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, it's, it's good to see, but we saw them break, it, break that momentum in map number one. So if they've done it, but think about what it but, needed, but, though. But, but, you needed such a big comeback. But putting yourself in that hole, I think that's the biggest issue, right? Just making sure you don't put yourself in that position early on. First round underway. Okay, check out Icy's perspective. Of course, Fox is going to be the red squad. Nice nation blue for this one. And it's Detox first blood here in game three as he looks to try and find front as well. Connects it. I'm very, very worried for Echo Fox because that momentum from Ride just seems to still be there. Kenny Lastman alive. Gonna have to try and go big for Echo. He drops. And, and Ride are just cruising through this. This doesn't look difficult for them right now. They're, they're playing on another level. Yeah, and they need to stay here. They need to, so so one thing, recognizing how many rounds you won in map number one, how you beat them off the second half of them, and now you come into this map with that right tempo, and you will take round, I think this is the first time they've taken round number one against them. Yep. So let's see what Echo wants to place down. I was gonna say, a sniper is perfect. Why? Because both these teams have so many talented snipers in this uh, in this game, the only person is Jerpy. I don't know how good Jerpy is with the scope, but I know all of the nine players in this lobby. I've seen them all do fantastic things with that weapon. Well, nothing but donuts for Echo Fox after round number one. No one finds himself a pick. Can Rise Nation again keep that momentum going? So far, it's looked fantastic. Someone needs to stop the bleeding. Echo Fox, and once again, we'll take a look at Icy. Off the initial, tries to quick pick the sniper rifle. Has Kenny in support. Kenny will find the pick on Zerpting. See how it's just all that smoke there? You have to be cautious on where you're moving. You don't know if somebody's on your flank, if they're gonna come from the other side. Uh, but they got tabs on detox, and they're gonna get those free kills. Is this maybe the just slowing down? Putting that pressure on them. They're, they're right on top of the. They're gonna uh, get on through and make sure they can defend their home hill. Icy still snipe in hand. Uh oh, Jerpy. Not gonna be able to connect with that. This uh, this top rock is the power position. I think somebody is somebody down up top. Yep. Okay, so Jerpy did get it down, but that teammate is going to be able to tap up. That was Jerpy literally trapped between the rock and the hard place. But here, here's the big difference, though, right? You saw how Rise Nation in round number one started off so well, and how they instantly just applied the numerical advantage and put the pressure on the map. Echo Fox, almost a similar thing, but they're not able to secure the trip cap to close out the round early, something Rise Nation do so, so well. We'll see if Rise maybe be able to get their foot back in the door in this one. And once again, trip cap coming through. Echo Fox trying to put the pressure down. Jerpy. Trying to lay the game, doesn't look like it just yet. Icy still up towards A, has the support of Powers, I believe. A little late to the party, he shuts down Surfing. Is Kenny gonna be able to get up? Yes, but only for a fraction of a second. Avex is with a big detox there as well. Rise Nation, survive. Icy just, you know, he had to just run away from his teammates because he was one shot before going down. And uh, he was just like, hey, I need to secure the snipe, back up, defend a home hill. And I respect the play that he just made. Uh, now you still see the two cap in favor of Echo Fox and Icy with snipe in hand. They're gonna wait for the rest of their teammates to spawn up. Currently is 12 second respawn timers. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, the shortest in which we have in an escalation series. The highest will be 24. So again, just trying to stay alive. Full Zerpting should be good to clean that one up. That's a double for him. Penny elsewhere. Four down on Echo Fox. Gonna have to just try and buy time. That's the game plan here. Smokes out the A hill. Can he try and make it messy? Can he make it scrappy? Powell's alive on the other side, and Kenny played it so wise. Zerpting had no idea. Kenny prolonging the round for his teammates to get up. Oh, he was on enemy territory as well, yeah. hiding in that spot. That was what was just so sneaky about the play. Kenny will fall, but did enough elsewhere for his teammates to come up and uh, at least secure their home. All right, so Jerry's gonna have that second snipe of the map. In hey, the you, want, you want to see if he can snipe? I want to see if he can snipe, because I said this is the only guy I was unsure about. Uh, how good he was with the wig stick, but we're about to find out soon. But he's making sure his home is locked. He sees Detox to his left. He's gonna make sure he says, hey, this is my duel, okay? Me and him working together versus Kyle, and I believe that's gonna be Powers. So you, you typically see these maps kind of split up into 2v2 and 3v3 fights, or 2v2s Yo, and, uh, and 1v1 fights as well. But that's a good smoke. He does connect with that, and Powers goes down. Detox is gonna get pushed soon. Jerpy gonna have to put that snipe away. Shotty out in hand, still in a fight with his teammates, and Powers does get a kill. Jerpy backtracking a little bit, 
knowing that all the pressure is about to be on his home hill, oh. and he's going to fall quickly to Icy. Icy ready, but note someone's never extended over towards C. As you mentioned, tie game, no hills cap. Finally, Edgar Fox will secure A. You see Icy, he scrambled over towards B. He heard his teammate need a little bit of help. Zerp team will go down. Trip cap domination coming in momentarily. Is there anyone alive? I believe Zerp is still last man up. He's not going to touch the hill. Echo Fox, stop the bleeding. And that's going to be important as they tie things up on one of the interest. All right, let's see. <laughs> We got uh, a lot more rounds to play in this map, man. That's only round two. And uh, as Waldo said early on, round four is going to be the time in which we're going to see, okay, who's leading, who looks like they're kind of carrying that momentum throughout the rest of the map, because that's really where uh, we've seen the game change a lot. And uh, with Snipe being down, we'll see what the next power weapon and has been placed. In terms of slaying, even across the board, essentially, there, both teams uh, doing a good job. No one really underperforming from either side. So our close game three that we won, definitely panning out that way after the first couple of rounds. Once again, Icy on the initial. It's been so good up top early on. Is he just going to go straight for Sniper again? Yes, he is. And he's there to support. And Echo Fox have this uh, early 2v2, 2v2 fight. Down. There's Kenny again. We'll find the pick on this fight. And it, it seems almost a little too easy here for Echo Fox. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, But the question is, can Echo get this next round on the books? Icy, he pushes on through, starts peppering up, uh, zerking a little bit, turns around, gets that quick kill, and now he's going to go put some pressure. You see the sideline he has? He, yep. see, he can see the home hill. He's looking for this player in the crack. Oh, oh. Icy. Oh, Icy. He's going to show me a new angle today? What you got, Icy? He's going to connect with that shot, so that's like going to that. be it down. And now he just has a clear sideline on that home hill of Rise Nation, but all four players being dead. Zerfing the only one up. This has to be a perfect smoke. He may stun two. He's going to touch, but you know, he can, he's not going to have another player to be able to follow up on that one. <laughs> another round on the books for Echo Fox. Yeah, beautiful response after a very, very convincing first round from Rise and just a ton of momentum as well from them following uh, the end of map number two. And uh, we'll see, uh, you know, what gets put down. I want to see what Rise Nation is thinking. I believe that the dual weapon spots are still going to be available to, um, for something to be placed. It actually, it has the hammer burst in it currently. Ooh, a big power weapon on the deck. So when okay. boom shots and drop shots are, are, are placed, those are, are is your rocket launcher, so to speak. Uh, you're going to draw a lot of players over there. So that's about to be a, a 3v3, 4v4 fight. It's going to change the fight at Sniper as well, which we've seen Echo Fox completely that's turn into a 1v1 That's a 1v1 now. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Probably, yeah, maybe Icy still take that fight. Could be Kenny. They both had a, a ton of success on that side of the map. But it is going to be the fight for Boom. We're going to focus on the most here. Is he going to be first to the party? Yes, he oh, is. That was a bad back roll from him. Chase, two players go down. Zerpting and Detox. Jerpy's going to join him. A Boom's been picked up. And Echo Fox now the team with all of the momentum. Four players. If Vexy's last man up, I would assume he's over on the other side yeah, of the map. Yeah, but they send, help, they send help over there to get him. But Vexy's got one. He needs to get the second one. This is a big 1v1. Oh, Lord. Oh, the pressure. The pressure. Oh, the help comes in from Echo Fox. He was one shot away from getting that kill. Maybe actually just bought enough time, though. We'll see if Zerpting's able to produce the goods over towards the home. Oh, well, it doesn't matter what goods you bring to the party because that's a boom shot. And that is trip cap domination for Echo Fox. Now so, they have a ton of momentum. So that's the beauty about having that boom shot on that platform. <laughs> oh, it's got flashbacks from Crim6 and oh. when they went for the, the high five. Man. I'm not sure what that was. We're going to have to work on their team chemistry that's right focus, there. That's focus, man. That's uh, that focus. was a, a fist bump, high five. He basically just put his hand on his fist. Spirit was, fingers. We saw it all, folks. Uh, uh, that was but cute. What a so, moment. So over here, when, when it comes down to that 1v1 uh, fight for the snipe, you have to take it quickly because you don't know what's going to happen on the other side of the map for your team. And if your team loses on that one, you want to win that 1v1 as soon as possible so you can kind of extend that round out. Sure, sure. Now we're currently in 20-second response. I, I want to point out, Waldo said, we'll see what happens uh, after round four. Well, it was an Echo Fox convincing round four. If they, however, are able to just keep that pressure on, go into the half at least with a two-round lead, really would have to favor them. As Boom's been picked up, two kills come through. Kenny and Powers in quick succession. If is also going to fall. Powers, he has a sniper rifle. The round is set for Echo Fox to take very convincingly. Jerpy, what can you do? Well, doesn't look like much. Managed to get Icy full red, but well, dodge that. Not gonna happen. Trip cap should be coming through soon if someone tracks back towards A. There it is. Of course, Icy waiting for Detox off spawn. Is he even gonna be able to get close enough? No, he is not. Echo Fox exploding here in the first half. A 4 1 lead now in their favor. That's a great fight for those guys. Winning that initial. Uh, on top of that deck where that boom shot is being placed. You see them get those quick free kills in succession, and at that point, 
Uh, the beauty about that boom shot being in that position is that it's trapped between two heels. So you win a team fight, you're going to get two heels automatically. Uh, at that point, it's just hoping that your teammate stays alive in that 1v1. And uh, based off that B heel being in such an open area, you can get some easy crosses uh, from the other side of the map to assist in helping that teammate. But in this one, you're going to see the bull ties get placed down, but it's still all about the boom shot fight. Yes, it is. And it's Kyle leading the way in terms of kills here for Echo Fox. Double digits, the only player in the lobby to do so. Can he keep that up? It's tricks looking to just land some damage down on Fran, but instantly he's going to be collapsed on Icy. was having absolutely none of it. But Icy will be cleaned up. Jerpy there for the trade. Fran has managed to grab himself another Don't boom. Uh, Jerpy needs to be careful. First boom one. fired to no avail. Fran goes down. Is Kyle going to be able to scramble over there in time? He wants to just help his teammate oh. out. As Jerpy wants to try and force the oh. 1v1. Oh. Needs to connect with it. Doesn't. Try. Kyle also should have kept Fran alive there. I believe he did winning his 1v1, so Fran may actually be able to, to just tap up. He is up. Avex, he's of course had sniper rifle. He still have franchise in that boom. round. This is where he can extend it. He's going to have a 1v2. Trying to get some shots in. Knows he has to take a quick 1v. Oh, but got caught out by Kenny. But I don't think any player is going to be in position. They went for B. They went for B. They decided not to go towards our home hill. Detox is he going to be able to find the pick? No, going to happen. Kenny with a double. Oh. Echo Fox 5-1 now in the first half. Where did that rise momentum go? It looked so good. It looked fantastic. Even the first round here of this game three, you were thinking, oh, no, this may uh, get a little messy here for Echo Fox very, very quickly. But just the opposite. Echo Fox cool, calm, and composed. 5-1 at the half. Yes, it is. So uh, it is going to be halftime. So all those power weapons are going to get wiped off the map. But... Is Echo with a commanding lead. Now Rise Nation can do. They got another comeback in their system. It's going to be hard. I've seen Rise Nation make plenty of 6 2 comebacks in their career. But, but just don't also, let it get to it. Don't also let it get to it. on a map like Lyft. But yeah, pretty much you got to consider round five as your round 13. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, you, you cannot go down match point here. You, you have to at least get two rounds before you let it happen. Preferably, of course, three. Try and keep it as close as possible. Just stop that bleeding however possible. As we go into our second half, of course, respawns go down. Hills flipped. Powers first blood, though, here in round seven. All right, you see a Vexies with that angle. He's uh, contributing to this uh, this pile of players that was down, just making sure, getting those headshots as they come up, as they stand up from those revives. But you saw the overextension there. Home Hill got exposed right under their noses, and yes, they will get it. They had to back up. But it was a close one. But you see what happens. Even if it's just one player that says, you know what, since nobody's here, I'm going to stand on the hill and force you guys to come back. And as soon as you turn your back to my teammates, that's when you start going to start to go down. But it looks like Rise Nation, they're still fighting this one. They're going to control both home hills. Nobody's at that E hill. There's actually going to be one player from Echo Fox over there. Kyle plus one. Kyle and Kenny plus another. And Detox looking to get another kill. Yes, he will. And Rise basically forced the defensive players from Echo Fox to rotate all the way back through their spawn. Wonderful stuff from them. Trip cap coming through now. E, is it going to be captured? If Exis really wants to try and take it over, fight. Dallas. It's a 1v2. I mean, he's buying his teammates time here, trying to delay the resources from Echo Fox. And I think he may have actually just I think done he it. Did it. Yep, he did. He did. Beautiful just play. Enough. So that's the round in which they need. Detox comes big, picking up those double kills in the spawn. At that point, uh, it's just staying alive. Let your teammates do what they got to do on top of that deck uh, where that neutral hill is. So let's see what Echo Fox wants to place down. Uh, we know we know how much they love that drop shot. We saw they won a lot of rounds with that boom being placed in the middle, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen again. Something's like going to go on that deck, yeah. They won all those rounds fighting for it. <laughs> they want to uh, take that fight back to the same same play style that it was in the first half of this game, so that's exactly what they're going to do. Well, you mentioned the, uh, a potential for a comeback. Maybe you had a little bit of relief from Rise. A good first round to start that comeback in course of the second half. We need to continue it though. Boom, down, smokes out, Detox pushing straight through, and he's gonna get catch Kyle and Fran have boom, but all of a sudden Detox is behind him, and it almost as if the call out never came. Icy still unaware. Finally, Kenny able to at least find the pick up Detox, but in fact, he wasn't all even able to do so. Life. That was such a good play Beautiful. from Detox. That was so unbelievably smart. Catches two Echo Fox players with no idea that he pushed right through the smoke. Uh, and Detox himself just won Rise Nation that round unbelievably quick. That was yeah. phenomenal. That was beautiful to watch. You work. see, and you know, you love seeing a Rise Nation player step up when it's their turn. You know, you see the momentum down. Detox taking that road, saying, all right, let's get back focused <laughs> in this hold one. Hold my beer. Watch yeah, this. exactly. He's gonna st <laughs> he started to make those plays and, and slowly bringing that momentum back in Rise Nation's favor. Uh, I'm scared of Echo Fox if uh, Rise Nation ends up tying this one up. Let's see. Another round 13.
Ooh, and, and yeah, I think the snipe on the other side of the map, that's, that's the perfect play. You know, you're going to have a Vex, he's fighting that 1v1 over there. And, uh, but just that snipe is a good insurance for both teams if the boom fight is lost. So yep. both teams benefiting from that weapon placement still. Uh, nothing crazy being placed down that Rise Nation isn't ready for. Uh, Echo Fox just needs to execute and get this to match point to relieve some of that pressure off their shoulders. And you're going to see that 4v4 fight on top of that deck and 1v1 one down, down low. Just like we expect. Rise Nation. I like this angle. We can we can hold this angle for a little bit. I, I, I no, I see this time. Expected to push through from Detox and yeah. may have read it correctly, but still waiting for the first pick to come through. Powers, he has Snipe on the other side of the map. Cal also gets a Zerp thing. I see she also shuts down. Detox here. This could be bad news bears for Rise Nation. They could be going down. Match point. There's the boom from Kyle. He shuts down Drix. The E-Hill is going to be captured. One player is going to go back towards D, while everyone else puts pressure over towards the home hill. Boom, of course, is still there. We'll see. Are they going to be able to get that trick cap quick enough? Zerting first off spawn, trying to get the Lancer out. Damage has been done. Is the kills going to come through? It does. Zerting not able to touch the hill. That pick on Fran on Detox, making sure the hill doesn't reset. So here we go. We got Echo Fox at match point. And I told you, the team that I saw on land make the biggest comeback was Riot Station. And I saw him do it twice, coming back from a 6 2 deficit. The same event. So they've been in a difficult, uh, more difficult position than, they, than they're currently in now. The question is can they just rally to make this comeback? We saw Echo Fox do it to him, and I, I can't think Six of no sweeter, way, no sweeter way for this series to end by Rise Nation returning the favor in map number three <laughs> that Echo Fox did in map number one. It would be sweet justice. It really was. And this is Rise Nation's only weapon placement. And they're going to get that hammer burst down, and I do believe that's going to be Drix picking that one up. And he's a savage with it. It's either Drix or Jerpy going to be using that hammer burst, both leading uh, the leaderboard for their teams. Let's see what they can do with it. Someone has to slow down Cal, though. He's been the factor here for Echo Fox. 17 kills from really beginning of game three. He's led the charge and has really had no one responding to him. No one's been able to slow him down at all. No one's stopped him at all. As Echo Fox this time, they want to just force straight through over towards the E-Hill. Fran has himself boot. Is he going to stay alive, though? I has see. to sacrifice himself. Reserpting that fell. I see meanwhile is gonna back away. Full red has the support of Kyle. A 2v1. Drix, of course, is gonna fall. Detox last man alive. He's on the other side of the map. He won the 1v1 against Powers, so at least can delay this game. Alright, so Detox has the sniper hand on the other side. Let's actually go on board with Detox. I uh, know, uh, I think he, him and Avex is actually swapped there. Because it was Avex previously who played that 1v1, so uh, maybe changing things up a little bit. So Detox, he, he needs to play it. He needs to be at least a little wide, making sure that nobody can flank this side of the map. The rest of his team's gonna end up spawning up. Look gotta hit the shots out. Oh, when he got he got hit by Fran a little bit, and that forced that bullet to go up just because of the recoil. But he's in a patient spot, like where he is. It's, it's still early on in this one. Avexi gets a kill. So Detox, he has the right to move up a, a little bit if he wants. He's looking for the angle. Avexi's by himself, and he's gonna get crawl. Woo! Almost. Almost Power saved his teammate. Kill, though, that's a nice shot. That all you got? Friend drops. This detox is going to have to try and push it. Powers may actually try and back down. This could be a double for Detox if he plays it well. Well, there's one. Turns. Can he find the pick? Off the Powers. Not going to happen just yet. I see with one of his own. All of a sudden, kills being traded. Back and forth. Two to one hill advantage in favor of Echo Fox. They have the point lead as well. Of course, they are also at match point. Yeah, Detox pocketed that snipe, but Powers has his hammer burst, and he has a good sight line on top of that home hill of Rise Nation, but it's already going to be capped up. Now he's going to be uh, getting pinched in a 1v2, and you see all players keeping their distance, making sure they don't get in one-shot range, just putting in damage. And now they're trying to get the home hill, but can Fran, he's making a defensive stand. Oh, it's off for now. Still early on. Anybody's game in this oh. round. And the Vexi <laughs> gets just in there. He him. He said, oh, you want to try and make a defensive play? Oh, nah, not today, my friend. Finds the pick. And again, Rise Nation still going to be off respawn oh. soon. And, and Rise oh, no, Nation, uh, uh, Vexi's caught sleeping on that one. Jerpy actually has boom. So, honestly, Rise Nation could just choke out Echo Fox in this round. Oh, a Zerp thing stand alive there. I still think it's, it's impressive because he was trapped between three players for a very long time. He's still with Boom, though. That snipes up. And you see both two players over there running for it off the other end. And Kyle will get it. Jerby put himself in a position to defend E if necessary. All right. So let's, let's go look at Kyle. Yeah. He's looking to see if he can kind of make a play on this end. Echo Fox can't just sit on one hill either. Bear that in mind. Mathematically, they will need a, a neutral very quickly or, of course, two more. Well, one more hill. And it with a two-to-one advantage. Kyle looking for the angle with the sniper rifle. Ooh. 
Yeah, he's trying to cheat because it's a, it's a cover there that some players like to sit on. Yeah, those L pipes. And he's just waiting for it. Knows that they're going to have to push through eventually. Yeah, especially if they, you know, oh, nice. the home hill gets decapped as well. So that's good for Echo Fox. Kyle's going to miss the second one. Now he's going to put it away, looking for that third. He's going to miss the third. Yeah, support though, and I don't think he realized he didn't. Avexis was almost baited a little hot there into it. Power, so just keep him coming. Keep him coming, and all of a sudden, Detox in a world of pain. There's three players there. How is he Echo still Fox alive? Not getting points. Sure. Late game situation. Oh, that's double a boom kill. From makes a double. Big. And that could be the final dagger of this round here. Yes, it is. Rise Nation. Ooh. Take it. It looked like maybe they overcommitted, but it was the opposite. All of a sudden, Jerpy with a double trouble boom. And now, Rise Nation can slowly but surely start that comeback one round at a time. Best match to start our day off with this. Oh, absolutely. You think about it. This is going to go down to the wire. That, everything that was said online, the tweets, the bad blood between these two teams, the disrespect, it was all going to be answered here online, and it goes to a game three. We, we, we talk about how close the competition is now and how it's just been getting better ever since NOLA, and uh, well, ever since Vegas. And in our first, you know, in uh, two of our first three series, we're gonna, we got a map three that's possibly going to round 13. Our first game goes to round 13. Yeah. Right? I mean, a crazy comeback as well. Because the Bravo Don't Station forget. game, that's, uh, that was a round 13. That's, a, that's a 4 3 score line, so it's looking like it might be. But in this one, can Riot Station do a detox? 1v1 versus Powers. Henny with Boom early. Friend, however, team kill on Icy, and well, what looked like it could be a bad start to the round. D Detox just knows, like, so he, he says, hey, we got a man advantage, right? So he doesn't, he doesn't have to do anything too hasty. The health came in late, but Jerpy comes in, takes out Powers. Powers probably should have uh, secured that kill, especially with the respawn timers being high, I believe, 18 seconds currently. But Detox, your sniping hand, E-Hill gets capped. Detox can't find that sightline on it just yet, but you want to make sure at least your, your team can get one of these hills in the books. 3 Stop it. Briefly. Stop it. <laughs> hey, D-Duck's feeling confident. Oh, oh that's the D as it comes. Okay. Nicely will fall. A nice shot from d to secure the kill. He, he's real accurate under pressure, folks. Let's see what he's going to do next. And you see that angle? Players love to, to sit on that cover, so he's waiting for it. He's waiting for somebody to push up in that little power position. But he's going to rotate. He wants to get towards his opponent's side of the see, map. I'm not sure if he spotted Kenny. Kenny's actually over to his left-hand side. He, uh, he's he like, got him. Got it. All right, what you gonna do? Kenny knows he's there. Kenny's gonna be, be, be a little bit smart on it. He's gonna wait for it. But I think Detox, he's waiting for Kenny just to make any type of movement. Oh, you wanna land to me? Well, uh, what, you, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> All right, so he's gonna be patient. So still, one hill a piece for each team. Echo Fox hasn't capped their home hill just yet. You know, they're, they're leaving it by the wayside. They're trying to focus up on defending E, but also they don't want Detox to get a free snipe. Uh, they, they know rounds like this, uh, you can throw away capping your, your home hill, right? You need to play for those kills. The, the spawn timer's so important, and Jerpy opens things up. Pick on some powers. Now can Rise Nation spring into action. The E hill, of course, going to be their next form of attack. of Vexy's wants to push straight through. Echo Fox fired as well. Scramble away was Kyle, but Kyle also drops, and now this is the opening rise. One, two, dead. Go for the trip cap as well. Yep. One, one player for Echo Fox, wildly out of position. The franchise, though, trying to break over towards E. Has the support of IC. I, I like the rotation by Vex. He's, at this point, I was going to say he's stand on top of that hill, but he's going to make sure he gets these kills. That boom shot's going to be on respawn. That's two kills. Back over, doesn't even matter. Yeah, they got to get the third. Uh -oh. It's powers. It's powers. What can he try and produce? 1v3. They will get them. Yeah, that's four down, five down with the boom being there. Uh oh. Rise Nation, two rounds away from the comeback. What, what, was, it, what was it you said? It would be uh, bittersweet. Bittersweet. Bittersweet if Rise were able to return the 6 3 comeback from Met 1 in the game oh, three. So far, so good for Rise Nation as they stay alive here with Echo Fox at match point. I told you, you know, Echo just stopping the momentum from other teams when they start streaking against them. Uh, you know, it, it sometimes it's very difficult for them to do. You, you would think yes, that, especially with, with a match point lead, that they will close this one out, but uh, it just shows uh, how resilient Rise Nation is. And more is. importantly, all the weapon placements yeah. in your favor. You're deciding everything. You're dictating the pace, you're dictating the tempo, you're painting the picture of how to close it out, but they've been unable to do so. It can all be over right here, Ben. Let's see, it can come down to this initial. Who's gonna make the play? Well, 22 second respawn round as well. You die, you're essentially out of action for a while. Kyle, first blood. Zerpting goes down. What else can Echo Fox try and produce? Kyle needs oh. to be careful. He's gonna be shot in the back of his jerky oh. there. Fran tries to connect with a 2v2 fight. Oh. Also, Drix falls there. That's four players down. Jerky, the, the only man alive. He will find Icy, oh, yeah. but he's full red. Surely he goes down. There's a boom to seal the deal, potentially. Two seconds Zerpting. until Zerp. Zerpting's the only one that is the first person to 
be up, but it's a boom shot watching that hill. All the players disperse. Echo Fox, folks. It was a close one. It's not over just yet, but it might be now. Vexy's got to go. Is he going to touch the hill? No, he's not. And Echo Fox get the job done. Two to one in the best of three. That three close, but just not close enough for Rise Nation. They failed to force that round 13. Echo Fox take it 7-5. But hey, what a way to start San Diego. And, and if you're a Rise Nation fan, think about it like this. You kind of knew that Rise and Echo, they both have the highest chances of coming out in this pool, all right? So 